Today's room pet over is from McKenna and her dog Turin, a soft-coated wheat and terrier. They come to us from Ireland, which is just beside Great Britain. Ireland is famous for its castles, flowing rivers, and beautiful rolling green countryside. This is McKenna's old room, and now she's moving to the room beside her. We have to start by getting any holes in the wall patched and sanded smooth. Then we need to put painter's tape along the baseboards and around the door where we don't want our paint to go. This lets us paint close and after we can just pull the tape off. Cover your floor with a big plastic sheet and you're ready to start painting. Use a roller to put most of your paint on the walls. Get the roller good and wet with paint, but not so much that it's dripping off. To get into corners, use your paintbrush. Make sure you wipe the extra paint off along the inside of your paint can. Go slowly when you are close to the ceiling. It's like you're sort of pushing your paint from your brush onto the wall. There will be three great pictures of Turin on her wall, a tack board on the other wall, and a stencil of a Celtic knot above the head of the bed. The bed skirt is made up with some of McKenna's favorite colors and frames her bed just great. To make the canopy, we're using L brackets with a Celtic or Irish knot design with two and a half foot long wooden dowels fastened on them. The canopy hangs over the head of the bed and adds a great feature to the room. Find out about the country your pet is originally from, what it's known for, what your pet's great, great, great grandparents did there, and start thinking about all the different ways you can do your own room pet over. So McKenna, what do you think of your room? Good, I'm so glad. So this is McKenna's room. McKenna and Torin are Irish inspiration.